National Geographic Kids Animals in the City by Elizabeth Carney Wild cities, street lights, traffic, crowded crosswalks. We're used to seeing cities packed with people. But have you noticed that cities are full of animals too? What animals would you expect to see in a city? Pigeons are a common sight in many cities. They might start their day strolling through a park. They pet birdseed that people feed them. Later, they might strut down a busy street looking for bits of dropped food. Like many city animals, pigeons are scavengers. They find plenty to eat in a city. Talk of the town, scavenger, an animal that survives by finding plants, dead animals, or trash to eat. Question, what do a clock and a pigeon have in common? Answer, they cuckoo. This peregrine falcon mother built her nest in a planter on a city balcony. Talk of the town, adapt, to change in order to survive in different conditions. Many types of animals choose to live in cities. It's easy for them to find food there, so they move in. Other animals don't have a choice. As humans push into wild places, many animals lose their natural homes. They must learn to adapt to their new surroundings. Let's meet some other recently spotted city critters. New Neighbors In Chicago, a stadium parking lot holds a secret. There, a mother coyote raises her cubs in a hidden den. About 2,000 coyotes live in Chicago. A coyote sits in a parking lot outside Soldier Field in Chicago. Coyotes that live in a city may raid trash cans to find food. Crafty coyotes are well suited to city living. Why? They'll eat almost anything and they use their smarts to stay safe while getting around the city. Imagine finding a 300 pound black bear digging through your trash can. Or suppose you saw one swiping bird seed from a backyard bird feeder. In many suburbs across North America, run-ins like these are becoming more common. That's because bears often go where it's easy for them to find food. Talk of the town, suburb, an area of homes and businesses found just outside a city. Question, what do you call a bear with no teeth? Answer, a gummy bear. Six amazing city sightings. One, a sea lion pup wanders into a seaside restaurant in San Diego, California, USA. 2. In Jaipur, India, rhesus macaques sometimes raid food markets. 3. A wild boar stumbles into a shopping mall in Hong Kong. 4. A mountain lion prowls through the Hollywood Hills in Los Angeles, California. 5. Hyenas scampered through the village of Harar, Ethiopia. 6. Red foxes dart through parking lots in Bristol, England. City Smarts City raccoons are better at problem solving than country raccoons. Some city animals learn surprising new skills that help them succeed at city living. In an experiment, 22 city raccoons and 22 country raccoons were given a puzzle. They had to break into a garbage can to get the food inside. But the garbage can was held closed with a cord. None of the country raccoons could open the can, but most of the city raccoons could. Question: What is a raccoon's favorite motto? Answer: One person's trash is another animal's dinner. Many kinds of birds have figured out clever ways to find food in the city too. In Barbados, some bullfinches steal sugar packets off restaurant tables. They peck a hole in the packets to score a sweet treat. 
Outdoor restaurants like this one often attract birds that are looking for food. The Barbados bullfinch lives only on the island of Barbados. Question. When does a bird say moo? Answer. When it's learning a new language. Too close for comfort. Sometimes wild animals and people can clash in cities. In Cape Town, South Africa, baboons have been known to break into homes to raid people's cupboards. They'll even swipe food from people walking down the street. Some cities have major bird poop problems. Every year, millions of starlings fly through Rome, Italy as they migrate. And where there are birds, there's bird poop. Starling. A flock of starlings fills the sky over Rome. Poop-covered streets can become so slippery that cars get off the road. In New York City, pigeons release more than 25 million pounds of poop each year. Yuck! Talk of the town. Migrate. To move from one place to another at a certain time of year. In New York City, pigeon poop often lands on parked cars. Question. Why are birds great travel companions? Answer. They never miss their flight. Run-ins with wild animals can sometimes be dangerous for people and for the animals. In Australia, people have moved into much of the koala's habitat. Now koalas are more likely to get hurt. As a result, special hospitals have been set up to treat injured koalas. Talk of the town. Habitat. The place where an animal or plant naturally lives. Signs warn drivers to use caution on roads that pass through areas where koalas live. Special ambulances bring injured koalas to the hospital. More to learn. Scientists are studying how animals adapt to city living. In Brazil, for example, marmosets have moved into city parks. In the city, the marmosets meet a predator they don't see in their natural habitat, pet cats. Scientists want to know how city marmosets stay safe from them. Learning about how city animals live can help keep both people and animals safe. Marmosets are tiny monkeys that usually live in rainforest treetops. Talk of the town, predator, an animal that hunts and eats other animals. Living together, people are finding new ways to share space peacefully with wildlife. In Los Angeles, there are plans to build a wildlife bridge across a busy freeway. The bridge will help mountain lions and other animals move safely through their habitat. This image shows what the Liberty Canyon Wildlife Crossing will look like once it's built. You can safely share space too. Follow these tips. Don't feed wild animals. Keep your distance. Be sure your pets are inside at night. Put bells on cats' collars to keep birds safe. Use animal-proof garbage cans. With care, humans and animals can live as good neighbors. Quiz Wiz. How much do you know about animals that live in cities? After reading this book, probably a lot. Take this quiz and find out. Answers are at the bottom of page 31. 1. What does a scavenger eat? A. Only freshly killed meat. B. Plants, dead animals, or trash. C. Only plants. D. Only fish. 2. What have people in Australia done to help injured koalas? A. They planted eucalyptus trees. B. They trained koala sniffing dogs. C. They set up special hospitals. D. They built koala proof trash cans. 3. Which could be an example of an animal adapting to city living? A. An owl finds rodents beneath snow. B. A squirrel hides acorns in small burrows. C. A tiger sharpens its claws on a tree. D. A hawk hunts pigeons instead of its usual prey. 
four. What item might help keep raccoons away from human food? A. Animal proof garbage cans. B. Sensors. C. Raccoon proof cars. D. Video cameras. Five. How much pigeon poop falls on New York City every year? A. 5,000 pounds. B. 1 million pounds. C. 15 million pounds. D. 25 million pounds. Six. The wildlife bridge in Los Angeles will help animals safely cross A. A river B. An amusement park C. A lake D. A freeway 7. Which predator do city marmosets meet that they don't see in their natural habitat? A. Coyotes B. Jaguars C. Pet cats D. Pythons Adapt to change in order to survive in different conditions. Habitat, the place where an animal or plant naturally lives. Migrate, to move from one place to another at a certain time of year. Predator, an animal that hunts and eats other animals. Scavenger, an animal that survives by finding plants, dead animals, or trash to eat. Suburb, an area of homes and businesses found just outside a city. The End